Hello there people, this is Bruce McCall, all in 10 Bruce here, back again to give you a helping hand on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Decade Jewels Plus, and we are up against Brandis, or possibly Brandy if you uh, take the S as a silent one, but either way, she runs Dark Worlds, and what that means for you is if she's going to discard certain cards in her hand, she's probably going to pull off nasty effects, like special summoning, blowing up your back row, um, drawing, there are quite a few things she can do. So rather than going through each individual effect, we're going to just focus on her deck as a whole and I'll show you the advantages and disadvantages, as well as give you a few hints of what cards you can run as well. So first things first with Dark Worlds, it must, they must discard to the graveyard. So if you're going to run a remove from play deck like me, then you've practically won half the battle, if not a lot of it already. Because if she's going to use up a lot of her cards in her hand like Dark World Dealings, uh, Dark World Lightning, then they're all minus one cards for her if she can't get an extra effect out of it. So primarily, run remove from play or Macrocosmos, things like that. Um, on that front, she does run two Royal Decrees, so Macrocosmos, maybe not so good, but things like Dimensional Fissure are quite good as well. So other than that, what else should you be watching for? Uh, if you're running a general deck that doesn't involve a move from plays, then you've got to watch out for her swarming capabilities. So she could end up special summoning things like 2300 attacker monsters quite quickly, 1600 attackers, um, and again the nasty effects. So you're probably going to want to run things anti-swarm like Torrential Tribute, Lightning Vortex, Mirror Force. A lot of that stuff is going to be very handy and it's going to make her plays very, very limited when she's barely got any hand after all of that. Other than that, you can see there she runs a Royal Decree. She act she's actually running two, uh, plus a Mirror Force, so she only runs three traps. I wouldn't advise using Royal Decrees yourself because the only thing you're going to negate is a Mirror Force. So yeah, get them out, replace them with something else. The other thing to watch out with her particular type of deck is although the monsters are kind of standard, some of them subpar for a beat down, uh, don't take it lightly because she can draw into a solidarity, which means because she only runs fiends, she's going to gain an instant 800 attack on each of her monsters. So a 2300 becomes 3100, obviously you can run over a lot of things. Um, so run a few MS, well I say a few MSTs, uh, an MST, Heavy Storm, Giant Trunade, uh, try and get rid of those solidarities. That's probably the big threat here. Everything else, you shouldn't really be worrying about. Uh, again, Dark World Lightning and stuff, if she's going minus one, then that's not going to help her in the long run, especially if you're going to use things like Brain Control, etc, etc. The things I wouldn't use against her, the number one thing, would be any form of making her discard. So things like Don Zalug, card destruction, um, anything like that at all, because you're going to end up with a lot worse, uh, a lot harder f um, battle on your hands. So she can end up destroying two monsters or two cards instantly. She can end up discarding your cards in your hand instantly. Do not discard her hand, simple as. Other than that, do not run stallers because she will get around them um, by, again, Royal Decree, uh, discarding Gren, Dark World Lining, all that sort of stuff. So don't run stallers either. The other big thing, which you probably saw there, and I won't say it's more luck, it's more the way that AI is built, is Brandis will discard her own hand even when it actually costs her. So things like she ran uh, Fable of the Raven. Uh, discard a card so she could get over my DD Scout plane, and that was a giant trunade. Like, why would you do that? Um, so, yeah, uh, just keep an eye on her, and if she ends up discarding her own hand, then brilliant. So, on that front, pop any questions or comments in the section below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, until next time, you guys take care, and I will see you again soon.